Hey, Popsicle Mouth. <laughs> What's going on? I'm sticky mouth. You got a sticky mouth. <laughs> Popsicles are so good. It must be summertime. You're getting out the popsicles. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. It is heating up outside, and that means you better be getting out there. You better be getting out and just enjoying the great outdoors. I like to do it all, though. I am a fishing freak. I like to hunt, of course, but I also love camping. And it is, well, prime truck camping season right now. We still got cool nights, and we're getting those warm days, so fishing is good. And one of my favorite things to do as a, as a Texan is to hook up my bass boat or take the kayak, go out to one of our Texas state parks and just do some truck camping. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. We're gonna to get away from these airplanes. So I'm gonna show you guys all my gear and how I've evolved my truck camping over the years and the system that I prefer to have right now. So first stop on the list, we're gonna to head to Bucky's. Bucky's has got the supplies we need to go to do our little truck camping mission and uh, keep us thriving along the way. So let's head over to Bucky's to load up on, on some food, some drink, and let's head out to the lake. Going truck camping, bye bye. See you soon. We got our shopping done and we got the essentials of life. I had to get the old six pack or the, uh, let's not kid myself, that's a 12 pack. Justin, that's a 12 pack. I usually get some sort of beer. I got a couple of my, my favorite little sandwiches in there. They're pricey, but it's convenient. Some of the added extras that really ran the bill up went with some specialty honey. Got to put that in my mushroom tea. And the everything aioli. I got the bacon last time when I fished with uh, John and Grant. It was amazing. I already went through it, so I got another bottle. Cookies. Your body doesn't need them, but your brain really likes them. I'm gonna try the old Belinda's green sauce. Put that on the eggs. One of my favorites is the chicken burrito they have here now. This is for lunch on the road to get to the spot. But uh, I went with the Philly cheesesteak burrito today. Standard units, I always get pork rinds. They're not terrible for you. One other sandwich is a turkey sandwich. So that's on the water. Now instead of buying like a big 12 pack of water, I don't know why I'm saying 12 packs now. I'm just really into 12 packs. I fill up my jug at home with my uh, camper filter. That way I'm not carrying around like a bunch of plastic bottles in the boat. I just refill one of these, this is aluminum can of water, refill it. Then for the main dishes, we got them three cheese wieners, baby. Jalapeno uh, poppers wrapped in bacon. Beets, I always give me the beets at Bucky's. They're good. These are actually, uh, as far as price goes, not bad from the other places I stopped at. These beets are not bad. And what my camera's sitting on top of is a refrigerator, so we didn't have to buy any ice at Bucky's. So we're gonna be carrying the fridge, the Dometic, we're gonna stick this stuff in here along with what I already have, which is some eggs, fruits, and veggies, and things like that. And we're gonna be eating good. We're not even staying out that long. This is gonna be a short trip. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna truck camp in, not style, but in comfort. We're not gonna be roughing it, except for the sleeping part, which we'll get to. Just made me a potty stop, y'all. I want you to look at this. First week of April. The highlighted road. First week of April, 96 degrees. We have arrived. What a beautiful spot. And we got some geese hanging around in my little camping area. So boats behind me right now just came in to, to check it out. Guess what? We got a little time. Since the sun is starting to set later, we probably got an hour of sunlight left. We might as well hit the water, do a little dabbling. Lake looks really low, probably as low as I've ever seen it. So that could present some challenges, but our camping spot looks pretty good. I actually uh, just got online, reserved it. I've camped here once before, and I remembered it being uh, a pretty good little area, but the thing I really wanted and hoped for were two nice trees. Look at these big cedars right here, and we're gonna use those as our posts 
for hammock camping tonight because I'm telling you guys it is hot. It's going to be really hot camping inside of the truck, uh, which is what I normally do. But I carry, I always carry my hammock uh, in this in this tub, my little sleep kit, just in case the weather is like this. And so that way we get a little breeze flowing underneath us at night. It's going to be all good. We'll wake up with the water behind us. It's going to be awesome. And tomorrow's video, I'm actually uh, meeting a guest out here. We're going to be doing some specialized fishing, trying to get some bigs. But today, we'll just go explore the water a little bit, see what's going on, uh, see what's biting. There's stripe here in here. There's crappie in here. There are uh, largemouth bass, obviously, in here. And there's a lot of white bass. White bass are fun times. So let's go hit the water, and then when we get done with our dangle, we'll come back here, we'll set up the tailgate, and I'll give you guys a tour of uh, the, the bedroom, the kitchen, and the hangout area, all, all in one. Show you guys the gear, but just gotta hit the lake right now. How can, how can we not be kicking myself if I did? And we even got firewood already set out here. We've got a fire ring, firewood. I brought firewood. We're gonna be set for chilling and grilling tonight. Holy spittoons, this water is clear, y'all. There's not many times that I've launched the boat and I can see the entire boat trailer underwater. <laughs> Don't see any bedding bass by the ramp, but they could be bedding out in like 10 foot easily. Wow, crazy. Let's check on our full moon status. Oh, ho, ho. we're on a big waxing gibbous right now. Just a couple days away from a full moon. It's probably gonna happen maybe tomorrow. <laughs> oh, things should be moving to the bank. So water is 65 right now. Could change overnight, but you have 65 degree water in the spring. Get those longer days with the full moon, it should be no doubt bass will be heading to the bank as long as the water's stable which they just had a little rain but I think this water's so low we'll do a little tinker in here I'm gonna look at uh, look at a couple docks see if I see any shad see if I see any crappie and then uh, probably gonna make a couple casts at the bank I've got to just totally look at my gear though because I've got stuff rigged on for dirty water right now We're putting away a lot of things. I'm gonna get out glide bait, swimmies, jerkies. Something's coming. Something's coming for it. What's this? Oh my gosh, a pod of massive gills. Well, look at that. And look at that. Might actually do something right here. Holy moly. First sign of life, a giant wad of gills just look like a school of little stripers out there. Interesting bit of evidence so far guys. Massive bluegills up in here. They probably hate bluegill right now because of the uh, because of the spawn that's happening but there was like sludge everywhere in there I did not like it so I'm gonna move a little bit and uh, see if I can just go into the mouths of some pockets and toss around a horizontal hot dog wow 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 I've already seen fish on the scope that have uh, come up to my bait looked at it swam away 
So we're probably gonna have to downsize the line tonight. Do some, do some uh, different measures, which I don't like to do. I like to put on the big line and yank on them, but it is what it is. And unfortunately, I am low on my spinning poles right now. Got me a daggone pistol grip on one of them. Check this out. Oh, there's my old pistol grip now. End of the day, fishing probably caught 20 bass on this rod. And uh, we're getting at the ramp, putting away the net. Somebody stepped on, on the net, which was connected to my rod. Downward pressure at the right angle and snap. I've got 15 on as a leader. I probably need to go down to like 12. There's a bass right there. About a three pounder. Just gonna have to make some long casts. Because these babies are spooky. There's a bass on a bed way back there. You got one, ate it right away. cruisers I saw in between there though. I'll let this guy go in this beautiful clear water. That is so awesome. Oh, I think I can count on my head, hand how many bed fish I've caught this year. That being one of them, there were two sitting on a bed. Well, if that's any indicator for tomorrow, just coming through this little pocket, I think we're gonna have an interesting day. Golly, there's a four pounder. There's a crappie. Oh my God, I see a crappie. I'm looking at a nice crappie. Oh my gosh, that crappie is about to eat my wacky rig. Oh my gosh. Holy cow, guys. I don't think I've ever sight fished a crappie on a bed. on the dube little guy paired up with a female though the dube I've just scratched the surface. I have scratched the surface. There's a five pounder on that log right there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we gotta go in because it's getting dark, but oh my gosh, I am pumped. Another one up here. Oh my goodness. That's just happening. It's just happening. Males everywhere, females are gonna move up overnight, guys. With the moon. Oh my goodness. It's a fresh fish. There's another one right here too. Oh my gosh, I want a night fish right now. This is crazy. Kid in a candy shop right now, y'all. Oh my gosh. 
there's only select few days that you get on the water and you just you watch the magic happen. Watching it happen. There's males flooding the bank right now. Females are just off the bank. They're going to pair up tonight. They're going to pair up tonight, tomorrow, next day. Cancel the schedule. The spawn is on. Or we might get some real big ones tomorrow. At least get a chance at them. Go to our campsite, let's hook up some three cheese wieners, set up our sleeping situation. What a beautiful end to the day, guys. Woo! This is home for the evening, guys. And we're not plugging in power. So this is the big reason that I wanted to go with lithium, and I've got two powerful AGM batteries running my electronics so I don't have to charge up. I can go minimum two days. Uh, I could probably stretch it out to three days without any charge on the boat batteries. So we are set to go for another couple days out here, man. And that makes it even cheaper to get one of these spots, tent camping spot. I think it was six bucks a night with my Texas State Park Pass. So one of our awesome state parks here, it's beautiful and I don't have to have power. So I get to sleep on the cheap. Speaking of that, sleeping arrangements. Let's check it out. So we do have the truck. We can always sleep in the back of the truck if we need to, but because tonight is gonna to be so warm, we are going to opt for the hammock camping. We'll cook on the tailgate right here. Um, we might as well get this stuff out right now and I'll show you guys my a little sleep system that I carry everywhere. Everywhere that I'm possibly gonna spend the night. I got these Husky boxes. These are kind of expensive. I got them at Home Depot, but they're really cool. They got clear tops and they open kind of like a, a bass fishing, like one of our Bass Mafia boxes open up. So I've got all my cook stuff in here. So we'll go ahead and get that out. And then in this one, I keep my sleep system. So normally I keep a little pillow in here, but we're probably not gonna use that tonight because we're gonna to, going to be hammock camping. And when I'm hammock camping, I don't even use a pillow. I've got a couple of blankets in the truck. I have bug, bug netting in case I need to sleep inside of the truck. So I've got one of those. This, this comes with a bug net on it, so we don't need to do that. I have my hygiene kit right here. So this is soap, you know, some shampoos, uh, deodorant, stuff like that. Stuff you need, water filtration system in case things get real western. I've got a makeshift bushcraft kit. So this has got stuff to start fires. It's got a camp knife, some cordage, things like that in there. Full blown tarp if I need to get that crazy. Let's turn this up a little bit. And then I've got an awesome Nemo camp chair. This is their Stargazer, I think. And it's like a, it's like a hammock chair. So comfortable. Drinking a cup of cold brews by the fire. Good times. It's worth it to have a good chair. Relax those knees after a day of live scoping, which we are probably not gonna be doing much of on this trip. All right, so that is the basic essentials of my kit. So we'll go ahead and get uh, the hammock out. Um, shouldn't be that much of a problem with the dew. The trees that I'm going to be uh, sleeping under will provide a little canopy for the dew. And I'm just going to have like a blanket, maybe two blankets. I don't know. Don't need a full sleeping bag right now because it's so warm. So let's, select, so let's set up our hammock. All right, sun is going down. Beautiful sight, my goodness. Hammocks set up, super easy. Those trees were the perfect gap. And now we're gonna set up the kitchen. So in addition to the headlamp, which I always carry one of those, I keep one of these, it's a magnet 
and a hook system rechargeable LED light. It lasts a long time. So I can hook that on right here. Now I've got myself a little lamp that I can cook under. Very useful. So something like that is got to have it for truck camping in my opinion. Ah, it's so warm. I don't even know if I need a campfire. It's just for ambiance. So I'm going to go ahead and get out the grill. And I keep a 20 pound propane tank in the back of here with a hose. So I can probably go an entire season truck camping just using this. I have this really cool system with the, with the cap. You know, I'll never have another truck that does not have a cap just because I love it so much. But if you want to just keep things in the bins, if you don't have a truck cap, keep it in the bed of the truck, like those, those Husky containers, like I showed you, those things are money. They keep all the, the weather out of it. They're really nice, but I've got mine set up so I can keep all this stuff up top. Of it. Obviously with a propane, I'm gonna get a consistent heat, so I like that, but you can always use the fire. Go full primitive. It's very easy to do. I keep a little grill grate in the truck as well, if I wanted to do that method. Little propane. Little spark. Skilly getting hot. We're gonna be cooking soon. I love the great outdoors. Case Hobo goes with me everywhere. Get our wieners out and get them going. Truck camping pro tip, y'all. On your way out, if you go to a gas station, grocery store, just take one from home, get you a little sack. Cause you're gonna have some trash. You may not have a trash can close. Just save it, throw it in the truck. If you got bears, obviously don't leave stuff out. But some cold pop cans, some, some wiener packages, try to keep things to the minimum, trash wise, but you're gonna have some. So always keep that around so I can discard it later. Wieners are sizzling, cold pops are nice. We're gonna do some tackle rigging tonight and I'm gonna be dreaming about tomorrow, y'all. I cannot believe how many bass I saw in the small little pocket I went up into. I saw dozens of bass and crappie. Crappie that were just sticking their noses out from the docks. They're like under their spawn and they're all colored up. They're beautiful. Had one spawning on a stump. Couldn't get them to bite. I, I'm, that's a new thing, but everything's up there. I mean, full moon's happening. Everything's moving up. Our first really warm night, it's all night like donkey call. All right. Ah, sugar beets. Gotta have it, y'all. It's like a little nature dessert. Not really sure how good sugar beets are for you. I know beets are good for you, but in my mind, it feels like I'm eating a delicious treat that's good for me. Unfortunately, I forgot my plate. Jalapeno cheese is good, but the three cheese, cheese is just dripping out of it. Oh my gosh, it's good. Crispy skin. Cheese, melty in the middle. Oh my gosh. That is some tasty stuff right there, y'all. That is going to fill my belly and my veins and just make me sleep like a baby out here. We got the crickets chirping. We got the little water slap over here on the edge i mean there's not many opportunities you get to sleep by the water's edge so if you're looking for a little bit of adventure check out some of our texas state parks that are near you or if you're in another state check out some of the state parks just grab the truck the suv load up some of this basic gear and go do it it's not very expensive and you know every time i, I sleep outside it's roughing it a little bit but Man, once you do it a lot, you just learn to, to love it. And it gives you a, a, a sense of adventure and accomplishment when you're when you're out here and you gotta kinda fend for yourself. Cool.
course, I'm smoothing it over here in the adventure wagon. I, I kind of got it dialed, but been doing this stuff for years, and uh, man, I just I just love truck camping. It's it's so fun. So. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in to today's adventure. I think you want to stay tuned for tomorrow because fishing is going to be good. So subscribe here to the channel. Smash that like button for adventure. And I will see you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers to the stars in the Texas sky. Lordy, it's beautiful. Got Orion's belt right behind me. Got a little water slap coming in. Mmm. It's gonna be a good thing to sleep too.